Oh, hello everybody. Hope you're welcome back. Um, we're, we're playing some more Chicken Police. And it's me and Bear, and we we'll have to continue, you know, where we left off. And I think we just met a cat. Did we? I, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, we met a cat! There you go. Um. Oh, what? Oh. Why did it just do it itself? I don't know. I don't know, but um. You okay. Can't press square. All right, so. Can you press replay. Can I? Yeah. There you go. That was um unique. Hmm. Hmm. You want me to do it? Yeah, you do this one, because I don't know how much to give her. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Oh, Nobody on. has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, fuck, it's kind of close to each other, is it? Yeah. Forgive me. My name is Santonio Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. <laughs> They're the same person. Yeah, I know. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Hmm, you were amazing, dear. Like, as always. <laughs> Could you be a little more... <laughs> my little furball and fetch me a cock tail? But of course! Didn't that touch it? I kill you. IBN will be back soon. <laughs> we'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you, I don't want a scene. My room's upstairs, meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. What? Is that right? Conspicuous. Uh, maybe it's suspicious. Maybe that's a word I've never learned before. Didn't graduate <laughs> high school. Hey. I understand. You know, they call him t Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Sh sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go before he comes back. I knew she was trouble from the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being. And it attracted me, like light attracts the moth people. <laughs> the moth people. <laughs> I, I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies. Or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightmares. Night, night dress. oh sorry. <laughs> barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. Isn't that fur? But I was cop. Yeah. And a lifetime wouldn't be enough to get to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Meow. Ignore me, I'm gonna look around your room. Um... um. <laughs> Gee, that is a unique picture and kind of daring. I, I admit I've never seen anything uh, quite like it before. Yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. Uh, it invokes good just, memories. Just, a precious little friend of mine. Close. A most wonderful artist. He, he's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. <laughs> Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll change. I'll change the voice. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> change the voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't compliment often, not on purpose, anyway. All right. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. Peaceful, peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. I mean, it likes me surrounded by elegant things, you know? You're an elegant, you are an elegant, uh, you're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, detective. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror to even recognize yourself. Maybe you you were trying to be rude, but you know, 
It's a very good question. I, I was just... I, I was just trying to be rude. Oh, really? Well, but I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't mention it. That was uh, <laughs> weird. Yeah, that was a weird. This woman's aware of a charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. The same thing I just said. But she's a cat. Oh, oh no. got to uh, more Frisco. Hey, do you like your bourbon? How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Brother? In a glass, but thanks. I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. I hope it doesn't uh, bother you if I have one myself. <laughs> I, I, I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you're a funny guy. So, so I've been told. <laughs> anyway, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Brother. It's it's sunny. Save us a, saves us a lot of time. Okay, sunny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It, it must be. Right now. <laughs> it, must, it must be exhausting. <laughs> it is. We're not that tight <laughs> to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I Where's tell you where does it's she go? an occupational hazard? <laughs> where, where do you see Natasha, huh? Huh? No, sir, I didn't see Shut up! Stab you! Stab, stab! Ah! I thought he was the leg breaker. Well, he's both. I don't know about all that. Nah. She went to the bathroom. She said she had to take a major dump. A major dump? Terrible. What? That's crazy. So I can start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... You do have a sense of humor. I'll reassure you. Uh, only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please. Drop the act about being the uh, alcoholic. Heartbroken ex-cop, sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you. But I've seen you scanning my room from the second you set foot. You, you looked at my chandelier. Who looks at my chandelier? And here you start working and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's, <laughs> a, <laughs> that's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. You also looked at my picture. You know, that's the one that shows my back, bare back. That's a, that's a thing. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Uh, what? It's, it's something I don't hear often with pleasure. Stop looking at my mirror. Sorry. All right. Uh, that was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you in, uh, enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have time. But the stage still calls my name, and I perform just a few times a year, and always yes, with a new song. So, yeah. So that was all the excitement. I have many of Mars, if that's what you mean, yes. She has to get ready for her, uh, <laughs> her, her campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the picture, uh, no, we already asked her that, we talked to her, uh, um, uh, the picture on your wall is quite daring? Yeah, <laughs> the picture on your wall is quite daring. Only if you knew how old I was at the top. I think I'm on a slippery slope here. Come on, don't be shy, ask me. Alright, how old were you? <laughs> be shy. Uh, what? <laughs> Did you really believe I'd tell you? You're quite a player, aren't you? Life is anything but a game. Except this one. Check it. Y you tell me? Apparently post I got post five. five. Okay. Um, do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threat? Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Those were those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look 
or a small rejection to turn admiration into hatred. Hateration. That's a stillborn theory. Did you come up with that word? No one hates me. They once loved me, Mr. Detective. I I see. Got plus mm. ten. Oh god. Why Come on, this is like a girl. dating simulator. What do I do? Right. Uh, do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? The whole case stinks. What are you trying to make me do? Nah, I think the third option would be a little bit better. Do um, uh, do do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I don't think I needed the police, moreover. Do you think the girlfriend of Bobby and Weasler could ever turn to cops? I see, so what about me? How do I come into the picture? Sounds ridiculous, but... I'm the last hope. That, that does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and old habits. You can't, you can't do anything else, can you? S something like that. A, a leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. RBI plus 10. Okay, okay. What was in those threats exactly? The message? So, it's not a threat. It's just work. But oh, a word again and again is threatening? Exactly. S so? Nine lives. Nine lives. <laughs> <coughs> really don't have any idea which no word could be used for no a water. woman like me. I, I guess I do. Uh, feline. Uh, it starts with a, a poo poo. P -poo, poo Don't say it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I know what it could be. Oh, it's it's horror. Oh, we're, we're on the wrong page. Uh, Cat guy, your tongue? Am I right? <laughs> I just see, see what I did there? Ah, Michelle, get, get over here. <laughs> get over here. It's funny. I, I, I told him I'm, I'm a cat. So, cat guy, you're. All right. You heard it. I said, what, what were you thinking? Yes? Ah, that was in the message. Ah, that was pe pr printed, sorry, on the paper and painted on my wall in giant red letters. Well, well, thank you for your honesty. Oh, oh I don't know what that is. Shit. Sure. Oh, what about from here? Is he you know, is she laying low because it tries to have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? Uh, no, uh, I say number three. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? You mean I'm a cat and he's a rat? Every interracial relationship has risk, but yes, the, this one's more conspicuous than most. I didn't even know he was a rat. Clawville's a very open and free city, but I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. Well, one of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am, so yes. And I understand why it took you a while to read that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so good with big words. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship, Oh, oh, oh We are what we are, you know? And, you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, change your feelings our relationship with us. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? Well... Well, that, that's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the question around, if you don't mind. <laughs> As you wish, Sonny. Damn pussy. He probably, he probably <laughs> fucked the alligator or something. <laughs> <laughs> In the back out. How many fools like alley. me have you used up, Natasha? In all my life? Well, uh, just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity killed the cat. No pun intended. Ha! Ah, Michelle! It's just... It's just... Uh, cat puns! Michelle! Get the kids! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> uh, can I scroll up? Can I scroll up? Probably not. Probably not. 
Wait, maybe, yeah. Uh, no. dialogue! You can read, you can pause it and read it if you want, because I don't know stuff while you're talking to me. Fair point, broadcast received, ma'am. That's right, you can just pause the episode so you can watch and read. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but it must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Whoa, oh. minus 60. That was the only choice I had, though. Yeah, damn. Let's stop beating around the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that. Uh, I'm prepared for that question, but still not easy. You know very probably... well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you. No matter how vague and suspicious the case was, I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you really are that desperate. I really know her. From now on. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude. I'm so cynical, sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me. When feline claws are at my throat. Well, I'm, I'm standing over here. It's probably like six feet, you know? <laughs> Molly is an old friend of mine. She has well, nothing to do with this, sharp. but I knew that if I didn't mention her to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you are. You're right it there. Takes long depth she's taking. I, I like knew you were a decent pal. That that you would help Natasha. me. Natasha, that's what you're famous for. Natasha, don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. Shouldn't have brought it up. Brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have, but to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper, she is, but I haven't seen her in years. Sorry, I didn't know. Really? Meow. <laughs> I did, I knew I checked you out before I said Deborah. Cluck me, <laughs> this <Deborah>. case <laughs> is getting more and more intriguing. <laughs> Okay, he played me from the start, Denny. What exactly do you want from him? What exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. I'm not selling Lucky Dip. Look, what? Sonny, find them. Whoever they are and whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. You know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the case. I'm not afraid. No, screw it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Eight more years. Change. <laughs> You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must solve this as soon as you can. Money's not an issue. Oh, damn. I, that's because so it was to... like 60%, but I would be try, but... Mm. Uh, it's okay. Just one more thing, sonny. Natasha? Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here now? It's uh, something I keep hitting there. I won't take the risk of uh, I Ibn, Iban, I Ibn, or one of his men <laughs> saying it. Isn't. Uh, uh, let's stick with IBN. Sounds good. Uh, isn't IBN too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. I I think you mean clothing, You're but... You're almost naked, but, you know. I know you would understand. I, I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, I understand everything. So when do we beat? The night is almost over. Are you being sarcastic right now? Because I can't tell. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early. Don't be too late. Look, Natasha, you know, please, this is very important to me. Sure, I, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Uh, until later, Natasha. Go, goodbye, sir. That was just... Well, why did you name it the Bizarre Club? It's a fuck. Why did you name it? No, it the Bizarre Club when yeah, he took no, over. It was, it was the millions <laughs> before. Maybe you could guess my origins from my name and my accent. I, I, I don't even know that accent. I come from the Eastern, uh huh? And we are quite respectful of our leaders. Cazadam? Cazadam? Do, do you feel that's not the case here in Clawville? Here, 
No, absolutely not, Mr. Spillin. Many here don't even know the name of their king. To them, he's only the Fox King. Hey, check it out. It's quite disrespectful hey. and rude. You're not a fox. <laughs> There's some truth to that. Where I'm from, we choose our leaders ourselves. Some call democracy. And whatever they do later, we probably stand by our decision. So that's why the name, in respect to your country? Don't take me for some sentimental. It's only partially the reason. We lived here until I was 14. Then we, we had to flee. Doesn't matter why, in the end, I was the only one who made it to Clawville. My 18 brothers and sisters died, so the name isn't because of nostalgia or respect, more like a reminder. I see. So why Deborah? I could not seek you out in person. <laughs> it was risky, even to send Debbie. Uh, that, that's a better name, actually, than Deborah, or uh, Deborah. It's too late now. Mr. Weasley is aware of my investigation. What? I'm sorry. I got her mixed up in this. She's a lovely girl. She looked like one. Okay. Okay. May I be, uh... Fresh. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. Everything, everything goes tonight. I be in. Do you love him? My own way, yes. I do. Whatever that means. You can't understand this, Sonny. There are women who can't actually love. Not like they're supposed to. But that doesn't mean they don't love however they can. That's not uh, a real answer, is it? You only accept yes or no, then yes, I love him. Mm. So this message. I'm sorry. I had to upset you, Sonny. But if I didn't take that step, we would would we be talking here right now? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Sorry. <laughs> well, probably I'd be dead drunk and counting sheep men in my dreams. I'm good for you, you see. <laughs> You're a real angel. That's Arco. Why? Why just me? What's wrong with my partner? Nothing in the world. I just like to be discreet. I wanted to talk to you in private because of Molly. Ah, uh, well, uh, thank you for your discretion. It, uh, it means a lot. Don't mention. So who's this Olivia bird? I know well what you're curious about. You want to know if she's sleeping with Ivy yet? The thought may have crossed my mind. You men. But guess what? Maybe she does. You don't care? As long as he loves me, I don't. Well, that's your business. What do you know about her? She's not the only threatening... She's not the one threatening me. You can be sure of that. Uh, I know that what was your next thought. The lovesick assistant is jealous of the boss's girlfriend and wants to flick her out of the picture. It wouldn't even stand up, but Olivia doesn't have feelings. If she left Ivy and sleep. If she let Ivy and sleep, it's because she does what he says. Nothing more. That was so honest and raw. I'm inclined to believe it. That it. This is like a real human game, just with fucking animal faces. <laughs> That's it. That it. Cause I gotta go uh, clean myself, and I'd appreciate it if you weren't here. What the hell's that key? Mm. Come to daddy, darling. You should give it to you? I don't know. Alright, cool, deuces. Alright. Calling booze, darling, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Says someone who calls his gun collection his harem. Touche! I'll shut it. Good, buddy. Well? Weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm uh, too old for this, Marty. Hey, that's a quote. Leave the weapon. <laughs> then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. Well, that's rude. 
Uh, anybody else to talk to? Somebody else to talk to? Maybe you? I love you? Would you want to try it? What voice did I give I don't know. Well, it's some voice. Whatever. Oh. <coughs> I'm happy to hit him in. That certainly wasn't it. I know. Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship to Mr. Lester? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. No, I don't. Well, I'm actually, crying. I remember... Shut the hell up. I don't have time to chit chat, chit -chat with you, Mr. Freeland, or Featherland, so yes, I'm not much to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, that, quick and straight no. answer. I, thought, I didn't I say anything. That wasn't Marty. That was Sunny. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? No. Can I ask you questions? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay, thanks. You're welcome. She's very polite. That's you know, it. no, I didn't even see it. You know, IBN's not a, as ferocious as you would think. On contrary, on the contrary, he becomes on the contrary. Thank you. He becomes very different recently. I heard. Uh, Do you find that weird? The sudden change of heart. Sometimes an animal just has enough fed up and wants chains. I deeply, I deeply respect that. Not that I respect you. You're just an alcoholic. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Damn right. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katzenko? You talked a bit. That's all. Nah, There's no uh, and her husband. tension between you. You know the pretty secretary. Oh, thank you for the compliment, Mr. Featherland. But no, no tension. Natasha is an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. Anything else, Mr. Featherland? If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful, elegant, luxurious, just like Natasha herself. Is that cool, good shit? talk. Uh, all right, yeah. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely kitten. Meow. Excuse me, pal. My name is Sant Santino Featherland. Uh, Gabriel. What do you want, chickens? Do you happen to know where Mr. Weasel went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Okay, thanks, big boy. Grr. I don't know why I give it. Listen, pal, maybe if, uh... Did I set a chicken get lost? Fair enough. Who the hell are you? They're, they're, they're too far back, so you can't really... He Remember, that, yeah, we did this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I did that big book. Yeah. Yeah. What about him? Can I ask you questions? No. Nope. Hey, big nose. Where did Miss Weasel go? How did I do it? It was like. Unfortunately, I don't know. Big face? I don't know. I forgot what the voice was. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of sh... <laughs> uh, anything else, dear sirs? <laughs> that was you. What was his voice? I'm just changing up voices, I swear. Every yeah. time we do a full thing, it's with different voices. You really do? Yep. Oh, well, it makes it interesting. <laughs> People are going to be like, what the fuck? So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was, you know. I've never been in a case before, not voluntarily. Anyway, but that woman. 
You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? Huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? My nuts! <laughs> the reason I decided... <laughs> I decided on... Damn. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care, guys. This case made me go deeper than you think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Oh, uh, hold, croakers. You're safe while I'm here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Fuck. All right. Um, uh, guys, um, we're gonna end it here right now, and, um, we'll come back, and, um, sorry for changing your voices and stuff like that, and, uh, talk to you later, bye! We stepped into it, didn't we? <laughs> all right, call, um... Of all that furry, what kind of list is this? Just finish up the list thing. But Go ahead. Why? I Go ahead, because I just took the thing. <sighs> exactly. I have no idea, but I didn't even want, want to find out. Those names, all top dogs, maybe they play cards together? Sure. That's very likely anyways. I pried, uh, pried this list out of a dead man's hands. Somebody dropped him outside of the forest, a few miles of Wester's residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Vilma. This could be important. Uh, don't think, V. Maybe I'll just sign your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, uh, shut up, Marty. All right, there you go. All right. There's a birdie. There's a birdie. It's a crosshair. But you.